also, I guess you could call this my review for uh, the Back to the Future, the complete trilogy. Uh, for your talking about and special features, uh, you know how most trilogies is just regular DVD case with the movies and some little cardboard box set thing or plastic, whatever it may be. Like the Godfathers, you grab them with DVDs or the case slides out. With this, it's all in one compact case. You know, one, two, and three, like I said, obviously in one combat case, you close it, you take it wherever you want, you don't have to worry about the DVDs falling out. I like it. I like that. Uh, obviously, like I say, you have all three films. I believe it's worth buying just to have all three films all together. And then you have over 10 hours of extra footage. I believe it's worth buying it just for the extra footage. I'll uh, go over some of the footage. It's digitally remastered. They have it in widescreen and full screen. Mine's full screen version. Have a little interview with Michael J. Fox talking about the trilogy, outtakes, deleted scenes, uh, a couple of deleted scenes, explaining some of the stuff. Like when Marty went to see his father and said he was Darth Vader and had the hair dryer. It explains how the hair dryer got in 1955. Has a little uh, Q&A show. Uh, I believe it came out when uh, Back to the Future 3 came out. People sending letters. They answer some of the questions. Uh, that making of the trilogy on each respectable disc, it shows you how they came up with the plot, uh, they talk to the producers, uh, the actors, they talk about, then they have uh, a thing about Back to the Future of the Ride at Universal Studios, two music videos on here, one by Huey Lewis and the News, The Power of Love, and then one by ZZ Top for uh, Double Back. We have behind the scenes footage, uh, like I said, they talk to the actors, the director, the producers. They show how to do special effects for the movie. That's another special feature. Uh, they have a produce, uh, this basically the scripts. They have the original scripts on there, I believe, that you could look through and read. Uh, and much, much more special features. So like I said, I believe it's just worth buying it for the features. If you have the Back to the Futures on VHS or DVDs, each single DVD, uh, I never actually own the single DVDs, I always have the trilogy, but I believe it's more features on this than each single DVD, so I suggest you sell them and go buy Back to the Future the Complete Trilogy. Uh, like I said, if you're a Back to the Future fan like me, you've been watching Back to the Future for as far as I can remember, like eight years old, they would come on in the morning, early, early, early in the morning, like two, three. They would play all three of them. I would stay up all night and watch them. And I'm one of the, I guess you could call Back to the Future geeks and then watch every one of these movies at least about 90 times this year alone. I love Back to the Future. So if you're a Back to the Future fan, go pick up Back to the Future, the complete trilogy.